attempt to adjust the picture. We are controlling transmission. If we wish to make it louder, we will bring up the volume. If we wish to make it softer, we will tune it to a whisper. All right, so the tree is down. A lot of it's chunked out. We're moving it all over to a spot where my friend, here's my wife taking hey. pictures of her handiwork. She's dragging, I'm cutting. She's, well, we're both kind of dragging, but um, anyway, so there's the tree project. It was shedding all this crap on her car. and So, you know, I'll probably build a little carport. I don't know, I get into these doggone projects when I get home and never have enough time to finish everything. Well, let's see what happens. See, I gotta finish putting trim around the windows and trimming this whole thing out. I've done a couple things so far here. Part of this because we had birds nests up here. So I boxed that off. She wanted a cat door. So I built a cat door with little steps. What else? Oh, I boxed in up here in the eaves because there were cracks up there. Uh, so onward and all right i got dan the man with me and uh he's helped me out tremendously by bringing a trailer and his truck and we're gonna take this over to the burn pile over where i used to work behind the red hanger there and then we'll come back and cut up this this was beautiful lumber. Can you imagine? Well, if you've seen my steampunk videos, this is what I made the table out of. And it's just been sitting here rotting and termites and all kinds of stuff. That's oak, by the way, oak beams. Weigh a ton. So we're gonna chunk those up with the chainsaw. There's my other helper, Sani, my wife. So here we go, we're gonna go unload. This is gonna be a monster fire. That thing is huge. Got the hose out here, got it all mowed close been wetting it everything down even the trees over here yeah it's definitely going two days later It's hotter than hell here. I've been out, uh, what did I do? I pressure washed, I still have more pressure washing to go. I weed whacked all the bricks. Well, what Sonny couldn't get because there was lumber in the way. And I weed whacked the driveway and now back to pressure washing as soon as I chill out for just a minute, have a bottle of water because you know, Man, it is friggin' hot here and humid as hell. Look at me, my shirt is absolutely from head to toe soaked. <laughs> Gotta love it, right? Rain every day. That's how everything is so green and beautiful. Just finished pressure washing all this. It's beautiful now. Got rid of the tree the other day.
So my little ninja acrobatic wife took a little bit of a fall off the ladder yesterday cleaning the roof. She's kind of proud of it. Ooh, man, that oh, ooh. But she's smiling. Hell yeah. Culprit. She was up there sweeping all this crap off the roof after we cut the tree down. And it was all muddy. And Let's see if we can see an imprint where she landed. Nope. In an attempt to get something to cover her vehicle, and this is, I'm just gonna put up a tarp, but I'm gonna put in two posts. And basically, when I get back to this, there will, and not, not this trip, but there's gonna be another post over here. And then I'm gonna move, do a walkway coming out to here. And then this is where the carport will start actually. And it will come out to about, about here, which will be in line with these posts here, I think. Okay, so it's uh, the inauguration here. She's gonna cut the string. Oh, there it goes. Woohoo! Woo it's like cutting the ribbon, right? Yeah. Yeah. Don't need the string line anymore. Got the posts in just in the nick of time. Well, it was raining on us. Mixing concrete, but that's okay. Now I'm just hoping these things don't twist while I'm out of town. Okay, so this is the beginning of the blue room. And uh, basically, it's going to be underneath that roof line. So it should run right off. Got one side on right now, and there's the second side. And so like that, it's, uh, it's a very hot and humid day here in Alabama. And I, to be honest, I can't wait to get back to Texas <laughs> and get out of this humidity. Of course, you know, I'm gonna miss my wife terribly, but you know, that's just the price you pay for a job, I guess. All right. And then as soon as I have a little bit of lunch in me, or breakfast or whatever, we'll get this thing going. So, you know, no project can happen in only one trip to the lumber yard. <laughs> the temporary roof is in. Um, still gotta tie up the corners, get some string. I put a board on top to kind of weigh it down in the center so it doesn't have a big puddle there and I uh, got the lights up anyway it's just temporary yeah. a little mini carport temporary hell of a lot of work for temporary let me tell you that's for she's gonna wrap our desserts in it right. yeah mmm and got the grill going marinating some pork chops Getting ready to get the grill going. And we got the blue room. Ah, the temporary blue room of doom. I hope it stays together. Pork chops. Mmm. Cherry wood. It smells awesome. Rightio. Looking good. Where's my wife? <laughs> Let's see if they're cooked. Smoky, juicy. Mmm, man, that's good. This is how terrible that meal was. Yep. Mmm. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Burned a lot of calories today, so... I already have a couple beers and... A big meal. Well, I have two nights left here. Tonight and tomorrow night. Actually, tomorrow evening I've got training. So I'll be out and about at a middle school at night. <laughs> These blueberries, she has tubs of blueberries. Look at this. They're friggin', there's blueberries coming out our wazoos over here. 
That one's not putting out. It's a different variety. And muscadine grapes, they'll be a while. They get ginormous. So, can't wait to see those. Uh, she planted her fig tree the other day. We'll see how that looks when I come home next time. <laughs>